Good evening. Hi. Good evening, Patricia. Good evening, Felipe. How are you guys? Hello, teacher. Good evening. How are you, Felipe? Uh, tired. Tired, huh? I got you. I got you. Good evening. Good evening, Carla. How are you? Fine, a uh, little tired. I know, right? And that's just Tuesday over here, the Apena and Martes. All right, so let's check everybody. Welcome back to your English class. Let's see what we have for today's class, okay? We have pretty much the same content because we are still in section four, right? But we are going to practice with a conversation today. And also we are going to learn how to form questions, how to form statements. That's why we need to be aware of the content, right? We need to practice a lot. As I told you at the beginning of this section, basically simple past, it might be easier in certain way, right? But also it's difficult because of the pronunciation. So we need to practice a lot. So let's go. Did you have fun? Class 12. Let's see. Let's go over here. Conversation, did you like it? All right. We don't have as much as the students right now, but we can work with this one. Let's see. I'm going to start with the conversation, all right? Listen to my pronunciation, listen carefully, and then you will practice. So did you go anywhere last summer? Yes, I did. My sister and I went to Arizona. We saw the Grand Canyon. Really, did you like it? Oh yes, we loved it. Did you go hiking there? No, we didn't. Actually, we rode horses and we also went white water rafting on the Colorado River. Wow, did you have fun? Yes, we did. We had a great time. Now, let me check how many students do we have. And according to that, we're gonna make the pairs, okay? So let's see, I'm going to have a Patricia, Carla Patricia, you are going to be Laura and Felipe, you are Erica. Action. So, did you go anywhere last summer? No. Yes, I did. My sister and went to Arizona. We saw the Grand Canyon. No, 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 no. Really? <laughs> did you like it? Oh, yes, we loved it. Oh, I me perdí. <laughs> did you go hiking there? No, we didn't. Actually, we rode horse. Um, we also went white weather rafting in the Colorado River. Wow, did you have fun? <laughs> yes, we did. We had a great time. All right, excellent. Thank you, guys. Very good. Now, let's check this part, okay? Let me see. Yes, we did. We had a great time, all right? That's the correct one. Thank you, Felipe. Thank you, Patricia. Let's go with Manuel. Manuel, you are Erika and Sonia del Transito, you are Laura, okay? Action. Uh, sorry, teacher. <laughs> Don't worry. So, did you go anywhere last summer? Yes, I did. My sister and went to Arizona. We saw the Grand Canyon. Really? Did you like it? Oh, yes. We love it. Did, did you go hiking here, there? No, we we this we, we, we actually we rode horses. Oh, 
I will solve also when white water rafting of the Colorado right River, pardon. Wow. Do you have fun? Yes, we did with this we did. We have a great time. Excellent. There you go, guys. Very good job. Now let's take into consideration the information that is being explained in this conversation, right? Basically, they are talking about a trip, right? Something that already happened. So if you notice, we use a lot the simple past basically in the whole conversation, right? Even in affirmative statements and in questions, all right? So let's check these ones. What are we going to do now, right? We're going to exchange roles. Básicamente con esta conversation es con la cual nosotros más podemos practicar el uso del simple past. Así que aprovechando que somos eh, not that much right now, que no somos muchos ahorita, vamos a practicar cambiando or switching roles, cambiando roles, right? So la primera, en la primera conversation, teníamos eh, Patricia and Felipe, right? Patricia, usted era Laura y Felipe era Erika. Ahora vamos a cambiar. Felipe, you are Erika and Patricia, you are Laura. Uh, no, sorry. Felipe, you are Laura and Erika is going to be Patricia. Action. So did you go anywhere last summer? Yes, I did. My sister and I went to Arizona. We saw the Grand Canyon. Really? Did you like it? Oh, yes. We love it. Did you go picking dirt? No, we didn't. Actually, we rode horses and we also went whitewater rafting on the Colorado River. Wow. Did you have fun? Yes, we did. We had a great time. Excellent. There you go. Very good. Thank you, guys. Now I'm going to have, then again, Sonia and Manuel. But this time, uh, Sonia is going to be Laura and, no, Manuel is going to be Laura and Sonia is going to be Erika. All right. Vamos a hacer cambio de roles, okay? okay? Let's get started. Action. No Perdón, que no, no, me moví, sería eh, a mi persona. Yes, eh, vamos a comenzar con Sonia, ella va a ser, el... no, usted va a comenzar. Yo soy Erika. Exactly, usted va a comenzar, Manuel. You are Laura. Ok, um, permítame. So, did you go a new here last summer? Yes, I did my sister and went to Arizona. We saw the Grand Canyon. Really? Did you like it? Oh, yes. We love, loved it. Did you go on Hiki Ikim the Reeves? No, we didn't. Actually, we were horse and we all went white. We're referring on the Colorado River. Who oh, did you have fun? Yes, we did. We had a great time. Excellent. There you go. Thank you, guys. It's changing roles. Roles are going to help us to understand both sides of the conversation, right? Cuando cambiamos roles, nos ayuda a poder ver ambos lados de la conversation. Por ende, practicamos más, especially in simple past. Especialmente con los verbos en pasado simple, right? Que son los que en algún momento pueden llegar a costarnos. Tanto los regulars and irregular verbs, right? So let's go with another part. Let me have Fátima Guardado. You are Laura and Elizabeth Campos. You are Erika. Action, please. So, did you go anywhere last summer? Yes, I did. My sister and I went, no, my sister and I 
went to Arizona. We saw the grand, ¿cómo era aquí, teacher? Kenya. Kenya. Mm -hmm. Really? Did you like it? Oh, yes, we love it. Did you go hiking there? No, we didn't. Actually, we rode horse and we also went white water rafting on the Colorado River. Or river, no sé. River. <laughs> yes. Wow. Did you have fun? Yes, we did. We had a great time. There you go. Excellent, girls. Now, let's change roles. Ahora vamos a hacer el cambio de roles, ¿ok? So, Elizabeth, ¿usted era Laura o Erika? Yo era Erika. Soy Laura hoy. Ok, action. So, did you go anywhere last summer? Yes, I did. My sister and I went to Arizona. We saw the Grand Canyon. Really? Did you like it? Oh, yes, we love it. Did you go hiking? <laughs> hiking? Hiking. Did you go hiking? Hiking. Did you go hiking there? No, we didn't. Actually, we rode horse and we also went white water rafting on the Colorado River. Wow. Did you have fun? Yes, we did. We had a great time. There you go, excellent. Thank you. Thank you. See, now let's go with somebody else. Let's have Jancy Jimenez, you are Laura, and Jamie Merlos, you are Erica. Action. So, did you go anywhere last summer? Yes, I did. My sister, um, I went to Arizona. We saw to Brown Canyon. Really? Did you like it? Oh, yes. We love it. Did you go hiking there? No, we did. Actually, we rode, rode house. Um, we also well white water rating of of the Colorado River. Whoa, did you have fun? Yes, we did. We have a great time. There you go, excellent. Thank you, girls. Now let's change roles. Jamie, you are Laura. And let me see, Jancy, you are Erica, okay? Solo les voy a dar una interpretación okay. de nuevo de estas palabras, porque estas son como los más, lo que más cuesta, right? Actually, we rode, Actually, yeah. rode horses, right? Montamos caballos o nos subimos en los caballos, right? Y también eh, white water, white water rafting. Okay. Action, girls. So, did you go anywhere last summer? Yes, I did. My sister and I went to Arizona. We saw the Grand Canyon. Really? I did you like it? Oh, yes, we love it. Did you go hiking there? No, we didn't actually. We rode horse and we also went white water rafting of the Colorado River. Oh, did you have fun? Yes, we did. We had a great time. Excellent, there you go. So much better. Thank you, girls. Now. Okay. Let's go with, let me see, Lisette Montoya, you are Laura, and Jonathan Cordova, you are Erika. Action. So, did you go anywhere last summer? Yes, I did. My sister and I went to Arizona. We say the ground. 
The Grand Canyon. 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 Really? Did you like it? Oh, yes. We love it. Did you go hiking there? No, we didn't. Actually, we rode house, rose, and we also went. Why were rife on the Colorado, Colorado River? Wow, did you have fun? Yes, we did. We had a great time. time. There you go, excellent, thank you. Lisette and Jonathan, now let's change roles. ¿Qué vamos a hacer ahora? Vamos a cambiar roles, right? Lisette, usted era Laura, ahora va a ser Erika. And Jonathan, you are Laura. Action. So did you go any last summer? Yes, I did. My sister and I went to Arizona. We saw the Grand Canyon. Really? Did you like it? Oh, yes, we love it. Did you go here and there? No, we didn't. Actually, we rode horses. And we also went white water rafting of the Colorado River. Whoa, did you have fun? Yes, we did. We had a great time. That's great, excellent, thank you guys. Let me go with Gabriela Choto. You are Laura and let me look for you up front. And Jose Vega, you are Erika. Action. So did you go anywhere last summer? Yes, I did. My sister and I went to Arizona. We stayed the Grand Canyon. Really? Did you like it? Oh yes, we love it. Did you did you go hiking there? No, we didn't. Uh, actually, we rode home and we also went quite well right on the Colorado River. Wow, did you have fun? Yes, we did. We had a great time. Excellent, there you go, thank okay. you. What are we going to do next? Let's exchange roles, okay? So now Jose Vega, you are Laura, and my other friend is going to be, uh, Gabriela, you are going to be Erika, okay? Okay. okay. So, did you go anywhere last summer? Yes, I did. My sister and went to Arizona, we say the Grand Canyon. Really? Did you like it? Oh, yes, we love it. Did you get in there? No, we didn't. Actually, we rose horse and we also went white water rafting on the Colorado River. Wow, did you have fun? Yes, we did. We have a grand, great, great time. There you go. Excellent. Thank you, Gabby. And thank you, Jose. Thanks. Very good. Excellent. Now let's go with the next pair. I'm going to have uh, Miguel Navarro. You are Laura in Kenya. Menjivar, you are Erica. Action. So did you go anywhere last summer? Yes, I did. My sister, and um, I went to Arizona. We saw the Grand Canyon. Really? Do you like it? Oh, yes, we love it. You were hiking there? No, we didn't. Actually, we rode horse and we also went whitewater rafting on the Colorado River. Whoa, do you have a fun? Yes, we did. We had a great a great time, great time. <laughs> Excellent, there you go. Thank you guys. Now let's exchange roles. Now Miguel, you are Erika and Kenya, you are Laura. Action. So did you go anywhere last summer? 
Yes, I did. My sister and I went to Arizona. We saw the Grand Canyon. Really? Did you like it? Oh, yes. We love it. Did you go hiking there? No, no we didn't. Actually, we rode horses and we also went while we were rafting on the Colorado River. Woo, did you have fun? Yes, we did. We had a great time. There you go, excellent. Thank you guys, very good. Let's go with the last pair that we're going to have. Alba Aguilar, you are Laura, and Veronica Esmeralda, you are Erika. Action, please. So, did you go anywhere last summer? Yes, I did. My sister and I went to Arizona. We saw, we saw the Grand Canyon. Really? Do you like it? Oh, yes, we love it. Did you, did you go hiking there? No, we didn't. Actually, we rode a horse. And we also went white water right, raft, rafting on the Colorado River. Wow, did you have fun? Yes, we did. We had a great time. Excellent, really good. Into the mood, right? Now let's just change roles. Uh, Alba, you are Erika, and Veronica, you are Laura. Action. So, did you go anywhere last summer? Yes, I did. My sister and I went to Arizona. We saw the Grand Canyon. Really? Did you like it? Oh, yes, we loved it. Did you go hinking there? No, we didn't. Actually, we rode horses. And we also went white water rafting on the Colorado River. Wow, well, did you have fun? Yes, we did. We had a great time. Excellent, girls. Thank you so much, both of you. Thank you so much for uh, to everybody who participated in this part. This part was especially important because basically it's the only conversation that we had in the whole class, right? So I really need you to practice a lot the use of simple past because it's not only difficult to pronounce, but also it can be complicated trying to mix uh, nouns or things like that with the verbs in simple past. For example, in this one, we rode horses, right? Los que, lo que les mencionaba anteriormente, no solo puede ser difícil que mencionemos los verbs in simple past, sino que también pueden ser difícil, puede ser difícil tratar de tener un noun, countable noun, all right, un noun contable, y tener que ponerle el verb in simple past, like in this case, right, road horses, road horses. No podemos decir road horse porque no se refiere a uno, se refiere a más de uno, so we say road horses. And then we have this word, hiking, right, hiking. And then white water raft that's pretty much it okay thank you so much everybody now let's move on to this next part simple past just no questions now as you already know how to work the affirmative and negative in simple past it's also really useful to understand the use of questions in simple past and how to form them all right so let's see we have these questions did you have a good summer? Yes, I did. I had a great summer. As, as is well known for all of you, right? Como ya todos sabemos, cuando tenemos yes or no questions, es poca la información que brindamos, right? Cuando tenemos ese tipo de preguntas. No nos alargamos mucho porque no es una information question. Pero por aquí tenemos una exception. Yes, I did. I had a great summer. Podemos agregarle algo más. Aparte de decir, yes, I did, or no, I didn't, podemos agregar un poquito más de information, all right? Estas 
No es de confundirnos con las information questions o con las double H questions, right? Sino que estos son diferentes. Pero estamos viendo que aquí se le puede agregar un poquito más de information. So, then we have, did you play volleyball? No, I didn't. I played tennis. Did Erika like her vacation? Yes, she did. She liked it. She liked it very much. I know. She liked it a lot. Did Erika and her sister go to Colorado? No, they didn't. They went to Arizona. In this conversation that we just saw, we have irregular verbs, a lot of them, right? We have maybe we have maybe like two regular verbs, but most of them were irregular, all right? And you already know that irregular verbs change their form, okay? So let's practice with this one. Let me have Elizabeth Campos, your questions, and choose somebody, please. Elizabeth, usted va a preguntar, pero escoja a quien quiere preguntarle para que le responda. Mm, quiero ver, aquí me sale Kenia. <laughs> okay, excellent. Kenia Benjibar. Okay. Bye. Did you have a good summer? Yes, I did. I had I had a great summer. Did you play volleyball? Volleyball? No, I no, I didn't. I played tennis. Did Erica like her vacation? Yes, she did. She liked it, it a lot. Did Erica and her sister go to Colorado? No, they didn't. They went to Arizona. There you go. Thank you, girls. Very good. Let's go with Veronica Esmeralda. You ask, but please choose someone to participate with you. Usted pregunta, pero escoja a alguien que participe con usted para las respuestas. Okay. Um, Jonathan Córdoba. Okay. Did you have a good summer? Yes, I did. I had a great summer. Did you play volleyball? No, I didn't. I I'll play tennis. Did Erica like her vacation? Yes, she did. She liked it a lot. Yes. Did Erica and, sis and her sister go to Colorado? No, they didn't. They went to Arizona. There you go. Excellent. Thank you, guys. Now, let's see. Um, let me have Miguel Navarro. Choose someone to participate with, please. Escoja alguien con quien pueda participar. Usted pregunta y la otra persona contesta. Lisette Montoya. Lisette Montoya, okay. You had okay. a good... You had a good summer. Yes, I did. I had a great summer. Did you play volleyball? No, I didn't. I played tennis. Did Erica like her vacation? Yes, she did. She liked, she liked it a lot. Did Erica and her sister go to Colorado? No, they didn't. They went to Arizona. There you go, excellent. Thank you guys. Now, Jose Vega, you ask and please choose someone. Escoja a alguien. Mm, Jamie Merle. Okay, so usted pregunta, Jose, and Jamie contesta. Okay, did you have a good summer? Yes, I did. I had a great summer. Did you play volleyball? No, I didn't. I played tennis. Did Erica like her vacation? Yes, she did. She liked in a look. Did Erica and her sister go to Colorado? No, they didn't. They went to Arizona. There you go, excellent guys, thank you. Now, let's look at the following guiding structure, right? Vamos a chequear la siguiente estructura 
para que entendamos en sí cómo vamos a utilizar estas questions. Guiding structure for yes, no questions. Let me see. Gabriela Choto, can you please read the structure? This plus subject plus verb in the present plus complement. There you go. Mm -hmm. Plus question mark. Okay. ¿Cómo se dice eso? Plus question mark. Uh, plus question. Excellent. There you Thanks. go. Thank you, Gaby. Thanks. Okay, excellent. Now let's check this up, everybody. Fíjense que easy peasy está. Qué fácil, right? En el simple present, cuando ustedes hacían preguntas, si recuerdan el simple present, tenían que poner ya sea el auxiliar do, si era primera persona singular, y si era tercera persona singular, tenían que cambiarlo a does, una quebradera, right? De la mente. Aquí no. You can use any subject. Pueden utilizar cualquier subject que ustedes quieran y siempre van a utilizar el did. No hay otra forma, no lo vamos a cambiar a otra forma. Y tampoco el verb que está en verb in the present no le van a agregar nada. Solo se va a quedar in present, all right? Let's check some sentences. Si quieren copien esta estructura y después nos vamos a chequear unas sentences y después les toca a ustedes practicar. Guiding examples. Let's see. Si desean que vuelva a la estructura, me dicen, ¿ok? Tenemos estos guiding examples. Vamos a ver quién me va a ayudar con esto. Fátima Guardado, please. Read example number one. Did you drink soda yesterday? Thank you. Felipe Ríos, example number two. Did Pablo buy a new car? Mm -hmm. Excellent. And Manuel Rosales, example number three. Did she call her mother? Excellent. There you go. All right. ¿Qué tiene fácil esa estructura? Que no van a cambiar el verb que le sigue después del subject, all right? Solo utilizo mi auxiliary que me aseguro que en simple past mi auxiliary va a ser did. Luego le pongo mi subject, cualquier subject que yo quiera. Y pueden notar ustedes, tengo you, tengo Pablo, y tengo she. All right? Three different subjects. Y luego solo agregamos nuestro verb in simple past y lo demás complement. All right? Inclusive por aquí, si ya nos fuéramos desligando todo, tenemos her, que es un possessive pronoun. All right? Pero como ahorita después del verb la estructura nos dice... Llámenle complement, right? Así que no vamos a irlo desarrollando todo. Solo vamos a llegar hasta el verb y lo demás es complement para nosotros. Ok, hasta aquí. ¿Tienen alguna duda del tema? En cuanto a las questions. No. No. All right. Everything clear? Ok, si ya todo está claro, entonces, let's go to the practice time. Work as a whole class. Let's see, ¿qué más dice Yancy? Can you please tell me the instructions? Create three questions using simple past tense. As, ask those questions to your classmate, enjoy the activity. That's correct, thank you Yancy, all right? Si no logran crear las tres questions, al menos creen dos, all right? Después de eso vamos a ver cómo lo trabajamos. Primero yo les voy a ir chequeando las questions. Porque ustedes en el video creo que también tienen que hacer eso de homework. Yo voy a ir chequeándoles las questions y después van a practicar entre ustedes mismos. ¿Ok? Richard, do, disculpe. Uh -huh. eh, el número uno, ¿qué quiere decir? Trabaja. Trabajen como, como clase. O como una clase entera. Uh, gracias. Whole, whole significa todo. Right? En vez de utilizar all, Utilizamos whole. Ah, ok. Gracias. There you go. Excellent. If you have questions, si tienen preguntas o dudas, me avisan. Right? Puede, puede poner la lámina Pero, donde está la estructura. 
and check this one. Thank you. Thank 
Do you have a question, Elisa? No, teacher. Sorry. Don't worry, no se preocupe. <laughs> Okay, when you finished, let me know, all right? Me avisan porque recuerden que en el simple past, la pronunciation es uno de los factores más importantes, all right? Entonces tienen que practicar pronunciando esas questions, okay? So, me avisan cuando vayan finalizando, please, the activity. Ajá, Lisa, let's see. Uh, teacher, did you visit your parents yesterday? Mm -hmm. Check, that's correct. Um, did they go to dance at the beach? That's correct too. Did she buy a nice dress? Excellent, Lisa. Those questions are correct. Esas preguntas están correctas, right? Ahora, Lisette, ¿qué va a hacer usted? Escoja a alguien from the crown, escoja a alguien del público y le va a hacer una de esas preguntas, right? Recuerden que el subject que Lisette esté utilizando, con ese mismo subject vamos a contestar, ¿ok? Si ella dice she, yes, she did, no, she didn't. Vamos a dar respuestas cortas. Si ella dice they, ya saben qué subject van a utilizar. Ok. Eh, Yancy Jiménez. Okay, excellent. Uh -huh. Did you visit your parents yesterday? Yes, I did. Mm -hmm. There you go. Only that, okay. Excellent. ¿Ya finalizó sus questions, Jancy? ¿Le gustaría que sí. te las revise? Sí. Did you work yesterday? Mm -hmm. Did Mary go to the gym last Saturday? Mm -hmm. And did he read this book? Yes, check, lady. Okay. Correctas. Ahora escoja a alguien, Jancy. Una victim. Okay, Lizette Montoya. Okay. Ella es la que, no, es la que había pasado, ¿verdad? Yes. Ah, pues, Sonia del Tránsito. Okay. Hey, Sonia, eh, Jancy le va a hacer una pregunta. Recuerda escuchar bien el subject, ¿ok? Did you work yesterday? Sí, Jan, sí, creo que a Sonia le falla un poquito el internet. No sé si okay. le va a llegar después el audio. Si quieres, coja a alguien más. Ok. Teacher, teacher. Ahí está. Oh, ahí, está. <risa> ahí está, ok. Excelente, Sonia. Lo repito. Mm -hmm. Please. Por favor. Okay. Did you work yesterday? Yes, yes, you didn't. Yes, I did. Ah, bye, es conmigo. <laughs> yes, I did. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, Sonia, it's with you. Excellent. <laughs> Bravo, thank you, Thank class. you. What about you, Sonia? ¿Ya terminó sus questions? Yes. Okay, should me. A ver, dígame. Did you watch television every day? Did I drive at work in the morning? Did she read at a magazine at night? Mm -hmm. Okay, solo la primera quizás le quita el every day, Sonia, porque okay. no sé si usted recuerda porque mucho, en el present. Ajá. Ajá. Sí, sí porque ella lleva complemento. 
Sí, y también porque en el simple present es cuando utilizamos everyday para daily routines. Ok, ok. Las rutinas diarias. Ok, a ver, Sonia, entonces escoja una victim y le hace esa pregunta, right? Cualquier pregunta que usted quiera. Ok. Um... Alba Aguilar. Ok, excelente. Albita. Let's see. Did you watch television every day? No, I didn't. Right? Excellent. Very good. Ahí está. Mire, Sonia, si usted chequea, si usted le pregunta every day, sería lógico que ella le, le diga, no, I don't. Right? No okay. pega porque son dos tiempos diferentes, pero ahí es donde se puede generar la confusión. Right? Okay. Excellent. There you go. Thank you, girls. What about you, Albita? Finalizó sus questions? Yes. Mm -hmm. um, I told you. Yes. <laughs> Give me uh, the you, Did you finish the Did you finish the exercise at the platform? Sure. Did you eat Did you eat vegetables at the meal? And well, uh, I repeat the. Did you go to the beach last weekend? There you go, excellent. Ahora escoja su victim, please. Felipe is there? Mm, I think so, let me check. Yes, yes, yes. Hi, Felipe. Uh, did you eat vegetable at meal? Uh, yes, I did. There you go. Simple, right? Simple as that. Excellent, thank you. Now let's go with Felipe. Felipe, would you like to tell me your questions? Me um, gustaría okay. decirme sus questions, sus preguntas. Sí. Uh, mm -hmm. Do you like uh, rock music? Mm -hmm. uh, did, she, did, she, did she learn to cook? Did he play video games? All right, that's correct. There you go. Ahora escoja una victim, Felipe. Alguien a quien le quiera preguntar una de esas. Eh, este, Gabriela Choto. Okay, excellent. Let's see, Gabi. Eh, do you like rock music? Yes, I do. Mm -hmm. There you go. Excellent. Ahora bien, ¿qué sucede con esta question, Felipe? No está mal, está bien estructurada, right? Pero en este caso podríamos poner el context de que usted está hablando cuando Gabriela tal vez estaba pequeña, right? Y le pregunta, did you like rock music, right? Porque si la hacemos así nomás, esa es una preference. Estamos hablando de preferencias, right? Entonces cuando decimos eso, también suena bien en simple, en simple present. Como, do you like rock music? Right. So there you go. Excellent, eh, thank you. Eh, una, una duda, teacher. Uh -huh. O sea que cuando pregunto, cuando pregunto con el did, yo, yo entendía que era eh, como, te, te, como en pasado, como que te gustó la, 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 la música de rock o te gustaba la música de rock. Porque en, en, en Simple Present es te gusta. Uh -huh. Y en, con el did, este gustó. ¿No es así? Uh -huh. Yes, that's correct. Por eso le digo. Pero el context, eso oh, tiene okay. que ver con el context, Felipe. Right? Porque en simple present es cuando hablamos de preferences. Right? De preferences. Entonces, sí está bien. Como le digo, está bien estructurada y sí la puede hacer, dependiendo de su context. Ok. There you go. Excellent, sir. Thank you. All right, everybody. The other ones, because of the time, won't be able to pass. Let's check what else do we have for today's class. Word power, summer activities. Let's see. You have this, this uh, exact image in the platform, all right? Ustedes tienen exactamente esa misma imagen en un video de la platform. ¿Qué hice yo? Para no complicarles tanto, all right? Eh, el practicar, porque básicamente en el video lo que ustedes tienen que hacer es escucharlo. E irlos uniendo. Así que, I have this. Ya están unidos, all right? Los verbs con las actions. So, let's see. 
Go hiking. Go swimming. Have fun. Have a picnic. Meet new people. Meet old friends. All right? Check this one. Meet new people es cuando nosotros queremos decir conocer eh, nuevas personas. All right? Pero en este caso, meet old friends, viene de nuevo nuestro context y nos dice, aquí estoy. All right? Nos referimos, en este caso, meet old friends, la frase en sí significa eh, encontrarse con viejos amigos. All right? Meet old friends. Ya no significa conocer nuevos amigos, sino que aquí es encontrarse con viejos amigos. Ya ven cómo pueden cambiar algunas palabras dependiendo del contexto, right? O algunos verbos inclusive pueden cambiar a partir del contexto. The same in here, play tennis, play volleyball. Si notan aquí en estas dos, lo tenemos con games, right? Lo tenemos con sports, sorry, con deportes. Veamos qué hay aquí. See a play, see a movie, see a play. En este caso, see a play es como cuando ustedes van al theater, cuando se va al teatro, right? Y hacen una obra. Ese es un play para ellos, right? Quizás nosotros como aquí le decimos obra, no es lo mismo, pero para ellos, see a play es cuando van a un teatro y ven una obra, right? Ya sea una ópera o algo que sea dramatizado. Para ellos, eso es play en ese context. Y luego tenemos take a class or take pictures. Now, let me check, I'm going to have Carla, Patricia, can you please tell me this side? Usted me va a decir este lado, all right? Ay, this side, Carla, Patricia, and Fátima Guardado, usted me va a decir this other side, please. Una y una. Okay, go hiking. Go swimming. Have fun. Have a picnic. Meet new people. Meet old friends. Play tennis. Play volleyball. See a movie. See a play. Take a class. Take pictures. There you go, excellent, thank you. Let's have Manuel Rosales. You are the side of go hiking and Elizabeth Campos, you are the side of go swimming. One and one, please. Do I have Manuel Rosales? Are you there? Es con eh, la primera, ¿verdad? Yes, go hiking. Usted va a ser de este lado de go hiking. Y Elizabeth va a hacer go swimming, pero van a ir una y una, please. Ok. Go, go hiking. Go swimming. Have fun. Have a picnic. Meet new people. Meet old friends. Play tennis. Play volleyball. See a movie. See a play. Take a class. Take pictures. All right, there you go. Thank you, guys. Let's go with Jamie. Jamie, you are the side of go hiking. And let me check. Miguel Navarro, you are the side of go swimming. Go hiking. Go swimming. Have fun. Have a picnic. Meet new people. Meet old friends. Play tennis. Play volleyball. See a movie. See a play. Take a class. Take pictures. There you go. Excellent. Very good. Now, before I get another pair, I'm going to tell you this one. Se recuerdan que al principio de la clase ustedes leían, unos leían una parte de la conversation y otros actuaban otra parte de la conversation, right? Eso es un role play. Así se le conoce en... En la enseñanza del idioma inglés, a eso se le conoce como role play, right? Cuando ustedes hacen los roles de otros personajes. Entonces, a eso puede figurarse aquí también el see a play, right? Básicamente, lo que ustedes hicieron también es un play, ¿ok? No es de confundir con un game, un game es diferente. Cuando decimos game, 
es por juego. All right. So let's see. Let's go with Veronica Esmeralda. You are the side of go hiking. And Jose Vega, you are the side of go swimming. Go hiking. Go swimming. Have fun. Have a picnic. Meet a new people. Meet all friends. Play tennis. Play volleyball. See a movie. See a play. Take a class. Take picture. Uh -huh, there you go. Thank you, guys. And now let me check. I'm going to have just one last pair and it's going to be, uh, let's see, Felipe Rios, you are the side of go hiking and Janira Peña, you are the side of go swimming. Action, please. Go hiking. Go swimming. Have fun. Have a picnic. Meet new people. Meet our friends. Play tennis. Play volleyball. See a movie. See a play. Take a class. Take a picture. Take pictures. All right. Excellent. Thank you, guys. All right, everybody. That's pretty much it for today's class. If you have any questions or doubts, let me know, okay? And I will see you tomorrow's class. Bye. See you. Bye. Good night. Tomorrow. Yeah, bye. Have a great night. Bye. Good night. Good night.